I'm going to break down the economy, the Federal Reserve in deep trouble being exposed and routed. I'm going to blitz through the latest next hour on Climate Gate. So many new developments on that front. This is blowing up even bigger than I thought it would. This is just such good news. I've been walking on air the last few days because this shows these people are not invincible. I have always known that. But other people are now discovering this and finding it out for themselves. And now that Climate Gate is out, so many people that trusted the government and the scientists and the media that didn't know the scientists were on the U.N. payroll are now ready to hear the truth. And that's why my film, Fall of the Republic, is so important because a whole hour of this two-hour, 24-minute film is about how the banks engineered the crisis, how they created the climate scam, how you will pay your taxes directly to them, how it's a eugenic system. Fall of the Republic. People are ready to see this film. Get it at InfoWars.com. And while supplies last, if you order, you get it. Uh, just that we're going to have to pull it down soon because we're running out of them. You get a free Obama Joker T-shirt. and you, Or you can choose a free uh, Don't Tread on Me shirt in a different uh, varieties and designs for a limited time at InfoWars.com. Or when you call the toll-free number, say you want the Fall of the Republic free T-shirt uh, deal and tell them whether you, uh, you want an Obama shirt or a Don't Tread on Me shirt. 888-253-3139. 888-253-3139. Or InfoWars. Dot com And your purchase also of the film and, and the free T-shirt makes what we're doing here possible. So I want to thank all of you out there that have been supporting us so we can then support all these other activist groups and give them a platform to fight the globalist. I mean, this is really happening, ladies and gentlemen. We're part of something very big. The momentum is beginning to shift in our direction, in the side of liberty and freedom and honor and duty and everything that is valuable and good. We are exposing these criminals for what they are, illegitimate criminals murderous control freaks. That's strong language, but that's not strong enough. Truth is stranger than fiction, and we're facing some very wicked people. Now, we've got We Are Change Toronto, We Are Change Florida, and Saving the Most Powerful for Last. I mean, they made the big sudden death overtime score at the Super Bowl here of political action Saeed and Steve from We Are Change Chicago coming up with the powerhouse video clip we played earlier in the week uh, that hundreds of thousands of views online, just devastating uh, to the globalist, absolutely devastating, and we salute, we salute them and their work. And again, Al Gore is not just being confronted about lying about the hockey stick graph that they've now proven is a fraud they've had to withdraw, or lying and saying polar bears can't swim and they're all basically dead when their numbers have exploded, or saying the Arctic's going to totally melt and then it doesn't, showing a time lapse of the summer when the Arctic and Antarctic get smaller, but not showing you in the winter how they get bigger again. The ice caps go like this. The ice caps go like this. And, of course... Well, I mean, the point is, is that now we have their internal emails and Al Gore's canceling his Copenhagen propaganda because he can't go speak now. He knows there's going to be Lord Moncton is going to be reporting here live for us and others and, and, and thousands of activists exposing him. He can't allow it. If he goes, it will make it a spectacle and then the truth will come out. But instead, he won't be there now. We'll be there exposing them. You see? So it it's just so incredible uh, to see this happening. And now we're not just talking about all the climate fraud. People are going, well, what did Al Gore write? Well, what did John P. Holdren write in Ecoscience? What are they saying in all these textbooks? They're saying we need an in fake environmental crisis to get people to give up their rights for a scientific dictatorship so we can set up world government to forcibly reduce population numbers. I mean, this is in hundreds of government documents that we quote, that we link, that we cover up on the websites, that we cover every day. We give you their quotes. We give you their books. We give you where they said it, how they did it. I know it's hard to believe they brag in this book how they're drugging your water supply. But they're doing it. I mean, you cannot make this up. There's a reason people are so docile and servile. Okay. Dan from We Are Change Toronto. Now, this ended up getting in the news as well, even when they didn't get in to see Al Gore. That doesn't matter. They took over the media attention and inserted real issues. But first they tell them, you can't be in front of the, th the event. Then you got to be down the street. Then you got to be across the street. Then they rough them up. This is the type of oppression we're seeing all over the Western world. 
So uh, let's go ahead. Well, I mean, take Copenhagen. They're not allowing any media in who have ever been critical of man-made climate change. Only people that agree are allowed into all these events coming up this weekend and next week. Okay, let's uh, go to uh, Dan from We Are Change Toronto. Dan, good to have you on with us. Uh, thanks for having me on. Tell us uh, briefly what happened to you. Great, great, beautiful website uh, for TorontoChange.com. Absolutely awesome. Tell us, tell us what happened to you. Uh, sure, yeah. I'm actually also a, uh, a member of an organization called Press for Truth. And it is a journalism company. I actually registered it with the Ontario government as a legitimate alternative media outlet. Yeah, I've seen your work. Uh, excellent. Uh, thank you. So we were there literally just, you know, as press uh, to cover the latest information on the climate change. Uh, we were there for no more than 45 minutes uh, doing our reporting when the security guards came up and told us to leave the grounds. Um, and I said, you know, that's fine. If this is your private property, I understand that. I will leave. So I went to the other side of the gate, and, uh, you know, I just started rolling, and the two security guards came up to me and said, uh, you're going to have to leave. They actually tried to make me walk into the road. Uh, there was traffic in the road. So they, so they tried to push leave. you into the road. And, of course, the they news would have just said a terrorist was run over. Or a terrorist jumped into traffic today and was killed. That's right. And as I was trying to get clarification for where indeed is this property line, uh, my, my cameraman uh, turned around to take a look, and that's when the security guard just lunged for the camera. Uh, he grabbed it, and he physically uh, turned over the camera and started pressing buttons until he figured out how to shut it off. Just nuts. Uh, and at, totally nuts. It, it's c c completely uncalled for. So at that point, I turned it back on because I just witnessed an assault on my cameraman. So I turned it back on for my protection and for, you know, Mark's protection, and uh, we continued to document everything uh, that was going on. Uh, and then he eventually told us that, no, we still own this. You're still on our property. You have to move further away. Um, but the good thing is I, I, I managed to remain calm. I, I didn't sink to his level. I, I kept my cool. And uh, because of that, we were actually able to get uh, retribution for the incident. Um, the head of security actually called me and apologized to me, and he said that the CEO of the Canadian National Exhibition is going to be writing me an apology letter, and they assured me that the security guard in question is going to be disciplined in the proper manner, and they also said they want to thank me for bringing uh, this to their attention because now they are going to talk to the rest of their staff and make sure that that kind of well, you know, that's a smart that's again. a smart company because you could clearly file criminal charges on them and clearly sue them because trying to push you into traffic uh, is, is well obviously dangerous. <laughs> that's right, and and with with the uh, the letter of apology, you know, that is an omission of guilt. Uh, they know they were in the wrong, um, but it just goes to show if if you remain calm and you handle it in a, and follow up in a professional way. Uh, then, you know, the good guys can and will win in the end. And by the way, I found security guards are even worse than police everywhere yeah. in the country. They'll, I mean, I'll be at a park or on a sidewalk, and they'll just march over and say, turn your cameras off. You have to have a permit yeah, to even be in the city. And I'm like, no. And, and, you know, there's a famous video, Kansas City, this year of Aaron and Rob at a city park, and the Federal Reserve security comes a half mile, puts their hands on their guns, and says, we're going to arrest you if you don't leave. Uh, and, yeah. of course, totally off their jurisdiction, totally out of control. These are lunatics on a power trip, and it turned out they were ordered by the Federal Reserve to go out and do this. These people think they're gods, and we are living in Nazi Germany. We're not. Let's go ahead and play a clip of part of the incident. Here it is. Uh, what, what's the scoop, guys? What's going on? client doesn't want you guys hanging around here Okay. right now. It's a this private is... event. Okay. okay. Uh, cameras aren't even allowed on the grounds. It's a bylaw against exhibition place property. Oh. Uh, even... Same with handing out flyers to people. It's, uh, it, it's, part, it's, of it's part of our bylaw offenses. Oh. Yeah. So right now... All this asking. is owned by the CNEM, I'm yes, guessing? The, the, city, whole, the whole yeah. grounds. From the Princess Gates, Dufferin, okay. down to Lakeshore. So we ask you guys if you want to do right, this, pause. You conduct your activity. What's happening more and more is they have huge city centers. For people that aren't watching the video but are listening on the radio, you can go to uh, torontochange.org and, 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 and watch the whole video. 
They do this in Austin now. They do this in Dallas. They do this everywhere. They just block off whole areas and now say whole areas of cities are expedition centers and say you can't be on sidewalks. There's a major road with 18 wheelers driving by and they just say you can't be here now. You've got to get out of here and because of their bylaws. What if they said their bylaws were that they could chop your head off and drink your blood? What if they said their bylaws were that they could uh, rob you? Uh, you know, I, I mean, no, they're not your god. Let's finish the video. Wow. Beyond is the other side of the uh, grounds there. Okay. okay. So right no flaring, no postering, and no filming anywhere on the grounds. Yes. Okay. Good. Thanks. No problem. Uh, hit pause. Okay. He submitted to their power trip right there by the highway you just saw. So now the power tripping intensifies. Because to a petty thug, someone submitting to their tyranny is a sign that it's okay. Let's keep playing.